I was talking to a, a professional tour guide, organizer, leader, or something, whatever, and he brought a group. And I said, uh, anything different about the visit here? And he does, he, I don't know how many tours he's done, all over, not just... He says, there has never been a more welcoming community. In general, the community is very welcoming because it's almost why we exist. So it's not like, yeah, you want to come. Uh, you know. No, we want you to come. Because the whole mentality here is we're here to serve. That's how we're raised. That's how we're trained. That's what... Uh, there are no private citizens here. We're all... We're all uh, so, just in the few minutes that we have. It's rather obvious, and there's a lot of focus and uh, attention paid to the fact that we are dependent on God. Something happens, you know, is God forbid, and God willing, and, and we know, we know, and in moments of sobriety, we know that we're we're fragile, we're tiny, and uh, without without some help from above, so we have guilt complexes and we have religious complexes, and religious fanaticism, and desperation, but all of it comes from the realization that we are dependent. We're, uh, we're, at, we're at his mercy. And sometimes we think that's great, and sometimes we hate it. The part that's missing is that we didn't create the world, and we didn't create ourselves. God did, which... I mean, the first, the first conclusion you draw from that is that he needs it more than we do. This was not our plan. This was not our creation. It's his plan. It's his creation. So who's doing whom a favor, who's doing whom a favor here, right? We forget that this is a two-way street. And the focus on how much we depend on him can be really out of place. Yes, we depend on him. Of course we depend on him. He created us. But he created. Why? So the, the creation gets a little too much attention. <laughs> the creator gets none. There's something not right about that. It, it just doesn't add up. It's not logical. So instead of thinking of him like an ATM, you know, the go-to person when you're in trouble, that, that's, that's a very negative picture of life and of reality. So the, the focus really should be, what does he need? You know, we'll manage one way or the other, you know, we'll get by, for better or for worse, you know, but, but he's here forever. What does he need? And how do we know he needs? He created the world. What better, what better indication? You create a whole universe, you obviously need something. Unless you're totally frivolous. So that's why every mitzvah we can do, every one of his wishes or commandments or whatever you want to call them, that's, that's awesome. So Judaism, unlike religion, Judaism is the opportunity to do something for him. So I was talking about this recently. Uh, every religion has a destination. You know, nobody picks a religion on philosophy. You pick a religion based on destination. Why are Christians Christian? 
because it brings salvation, saves you from going to hell. Otherwise, you know, every philosophy eventually ends up sounding the same as every other philosophy. So it's the it's the destination, you know, the the bottom line. Why are Muslims Muslim? Because they'll get their reward in heaven. Why are Buddhists Buddhists? Because they'll be enlightened and they'll be uh, in uh, Nirvana, whatever it is. So ask any religious person, what's what's your what's your agenda? What do you want? And he'll tell you. Which makes sense. But ask an observing Jew, why are you doing this? He has no idea. <laughs> What's in store for you? We don't know. We don't really care. Yeah, we have a concept of going to heaven, you go to Gan Eden. Nobody's excited. <laughs> because if you're really Jewish, you don't want to go anywhere. What's wrong with staying here? There's no better place, like the Christians say. He's in a better place now. Not a better place. It's a nice place. It's not better than being alive. Nothing's better than being alive. Why? Because when you're alive, you can do something for the Creator. When you die, the Creator has to take care of you. We would rather serve than be served. We don't believe in retiring. We want to do something. We want to be of service. We want to be needed. And we are. So what is the destination of Judaism? If you want to compare it to religions, because Judaism itself is not a religion. The destination of Judaism is, what can I do for you? Everybody else wants something from God. I mean, we also want, but, that, but that's not what Judaism is about. Judaism is, what can I do for you? What do you need? You created the world. You started this mess. What do you need? <laughs> there was this cartoon about Trump at the uh, in, in Jerusalem when he went to the wall. So the cartoon is he's standing there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's standing there. He says, God, what can I do for you? <laughs> What do you need? What can I do for you? That's Jewish. That's Jewish. Everybody else runs to the wall and they put their little notes in there that give me this, give me that, I need, I need. That's that's not really I mean that's human. But Jewish is anything I can do for you? You created it. Must be something you need. Created me, must be something you need from me. And when I feel like I can do something for you, the rest becomes easier to handle. What I need from him, not so important anymore. Because I can do something for him. And I think that's the underlying, maybe unspoken uh, attitude of the community here. We all have needs. It's not, it's not easy living here. It's cramped, it's small, it's, it's New York. You know, it's not easy. So we all have needs, but if we can do something for someone else, that is so much, so much more enjoyable. And so you handle your needs as long as you can do something for someone else. As long as you can serve, that's better than being served.